Hello everyone, my name is Clanta and welcome to the Clan So without further ado, let's get into this video. But before we get into the video, please smash me the like button. And I just want to say to everybody that is joining the clan family, you are now officially the member of the clan. You are warmly welcome. Thank you so much for considering us because here you need to come with your two IQ so that you can rub them together and spark some opinions that, that we can engage like in this type of video which we call the self-appointed expert comments. And the reason why we call ourselves the uh, self-appointed expert is because once upon a time, Judge Rata tried to shut us up, meaning YouTubers, because we're making commentary about what was going on in the knockout and high court in his courtroom. And so there were some things that we were like, wait a minute, we may not have degrees in law, we may not be law experts, we may not be judges, but this does not sound right. There is no way this sounds right because I think some of these people underestimate the intelligence of some South Africans, not 30 percenters. You are a different breed. South Africans in general are very intelligent people, even though we may not have gone to school for this specific field of study. We still can use our two IQs, rub them together and be like, nah, nah, I know, sorry, this does not make sense. And hence, they try to shut us down by calling us self-appointed experts. As you know what we will always do, we will take that terminology and we'll embrace it to kill the power that he thought he had over us. So that is why we call ourselves the self-appointed experts. But the community is called the clan, and you are an honorable member of the clan. In case you were wondering why are we call the clan, now you know. Oh, why do we call ourselves self appointed experts? Now you know. So let's get to the comments of yesterday's video where I was talking about the wrapping up of uh, Danzi's testimony and the defense closing their case. So let's start with the first uh, comment is from Jablani Nyoni, who says that the friends have lost already. Now, this type of person does not substantiate, does not give any reason, but they just write one sentence. What does that even mean? What evidence do you have that they've lost the case? State your thoughts. Uh, 30 percenters, I don't know why you keep braving this channel, honestly speaking. Jablani continues to say that defense has failed their clients. How? You need to substantiate. Give us reasons. Give us points. They failed in this way and they failed that way and they failed that way. You need to convince us. What does that even mean? What does this mean? They only work, uh, woke up from sleep when the... Oh, you're so obvious. This does not even make sense what you are saying. Okay, let's, let's try and read the second part of his comment. The, on the only woke up from sleep when case was already closed. We are watching the same thing. Why are you telling us what we've watched? And what do you mean they woke up? Hi, 30 percenters, you are a problem, Shem. And stay away from things that are beyond your nose when it comes to thinking. And then Octavia says, Gushubile Guyasha. And then we have a user, I can't see your name, Guzoshuba. Okay, then we have Salvin who says, Nisi is correct. Those OB entries must be checked with who wrote them and verify the handwriting. And also important, the time it was done in conjunction with what was done to Danzi. Absolutely, I agree. That was a missed opportunity by the defense to reopen the case. Uh, I'm not sure if this is what Jablan is trying to say because it made no, absolute no sense. Smongis says, Swanda waste a lot of time of repeating questions. You know that man. Ay, 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 ay. He's like a dictator. Mami Tia says, a severe ammunition case, in my opinion, was also a planted case with that black plastic, same as in Danzi. He able to explain uh, they don't know Sibia needs uh, to appeal that case against him. That's my opinion. You see, uh, Jablani, this is how you speak. You don't leave us hanging wondering what on earth are you talking about. Substantiate your comments. Now, I agree with you, Mamitia, that uh, Muzi definitely has to appeal 
uh, that because it doesn't make sense. Actually, it makes sense. This is the uh, modus operandi of Geninda. He will take some evidence, just like in the commando house with that bullet. Now he's coming with a bunch of ammunition that he will find in your home without a search warrant and say, boom, we found this in your house and you have no idea where these things are coming from because he wants to substantiate or at least draw a picture that indeed you are an Inkabi, right? You see, Jablani, how you do things? OG Media says, let's catch up. What's up, girl? Thank you so much for that. Lucia says, Clentus, you forgot to mention Chico on the list. I said the whole lot of them. The whole lot. Zungu included everybody. <laughs> everybody. Temko says, where is Kelly and others who were in the house? Sitting on their conscience, I suppose. Patricia says, I'm the only one who doesn't trust Rata. We all don't trust Rata. Rata is... But somehow, somehow, I'm looking at his facial expressions and I'm trying to read him. This man is over the states, to be honest. Trusty says, but... Uh, okay. Trusty says, but matter can be still argued. It's still fine to discredit the state. Baloy himself had here the submission. Advocate Timnese made and Baloy never disputed nor countered that but rather escaped the version, meaning state is sick and, and cruel. Baloy is only after these five accused to let them down. He followed them from regional court, if I'm not mistaken, or Boxburg court till high court. That alone can tell us of Baloy's mission. But rest assured, Baloy and his crew, uh, uh, in his crew's time is up. I saw a grave for them, the very deep one. Of, of course, figuratively, doesn't mean uh, the literal one. Yeah, uh, I think when you're a prosecutor at a regional uh, court, you can carry the case with you to the high court as well, I think. I stand corrected. You see, Jablani, how you comment, you substantiate. You just don't give one line at 30 percent Iconic says, how was Mnisi out of order? No, we didn't say he's out of order. What I was saying that it is upsetting that at the end, because there were so many opportunities for him to get up at the time when Gininda was, uh, uh, was testifying about the OBs. And I was like, come on, bro, get up. Oh, somebody in the defense, get up and object and say, okay, can we have these OBs submitted into evidence? together with comparison of the handwriting signatures and all of that to make sure that they are not Muhanu's signatures. Because remember, they say Muhanu cannot be the one that opens police cells. Muhanu cannot be the one that enters into the OB books. And yet the, 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 the witnesses said he's the one who came with keys. He's the one that was locking them up. So that was an opportunity for the defense to say, no, can we get those OB books? We are not saying it's out of order because in the argument, as Advocate Gomez said, he'll bring into the argument, it's still fine. As long as he'll be able to discredit that testimony of Gininda as well as Muhan, that they are the ones who didn't, uh, the, uh, that's the police state, um, that the police that were stationed in those police stations, they took as uh, the accused, they're the ones who, who entered, not to them as the investigators. That is all that I was saying. And I was also saying that there was a missed opportunity yesterday to reopen just for the OB. Just for the OB. Call Gininda, call Muhanu, those two. And then after that, you discredit that. And then you get the evidence that indeed it was not Muhanu that, um, that entered those OBs. That's it. And then you close the case. Tilly says, I agree with Ngome Zulu. They don't need what Mnisi suggested. Okay. Yvonne says, Clantis don't disappear because a person like me, I like watching videos and comment. But if there's nothing to watch, I get disappointed. Don't worry. We'll be here. Definitely we'll be here. Uh, Nelimo says, uh, judge acts as if all laws are respected and followed. He keeps mentioning that in police stations, they are asked and checked for injuries. 
It's written down, but who followed that law? Many people say they never do. Especially police uh, stations, they never do. Pulani says, Mr. Tumagute, are you an attorney by profession? No. I just have two IQs, that's all. I, two, I have two I, my I have a very active brain. My brain, right now, I'm thinking of other things while I'm busy doing this because I saw something during the day and then it's been bothering me on how to make sense of it, you know? That's the type of person that I am. Lucia says, hey clan, in these two weeks, you will be covering Tabo Pesta and Makutumana's case. Yes, but in the other channel, the Iron Bars, that's where I'm going to be covering because on this channel, y'all don't watch. You watch this one, Senzo Meiwa. Y'all don't watch. So you're going to have to go to the Iron Bars, I'm afraid. Jablani comes back again and says the judge today was too good. He gave defense chance to reopen the case, but the defense made flop. Yeah, I get it. You're taking from other people's comments and you're making it your own. And still do not substantiate what do you mean. Now I think I know what I'm dealing here with. I couldn't say. Trust the says, Clantus, why is Baloi withholding credible information after discussing with the defense? Because he's a slick person. Snake. Both the defense and the state assisting the court towards just and abhorrent conclusion of this case. I saw that. In my view, Baloy is helping either the public or the court, but plainly protects Kelly so that Kelly protects Ulongwe. But I think by the time around, Judge Rata's eyes are open. Rata don't trust the state according to his last remarks. Yeah, I think Rata did take a 180 at some point, especially when Gininda was on the stand. He was like, what? This is rubbish I'm listening to. I mean, his 20-year experience on the bench, definitely, he must have came across police uh, officers like Gininda. And because what it was, his demeanor changed while Gininda was on the stand. And we were like, whoa, what's happening, Judge Rata? I think maybe he's being reminded of other cases that he uh, he had uh, that he had uh, presided over, I think one of those cases may have been of Mjuli, because if you listen to Dininda and you listen to Mjuli as well at the time, I don't know. I'm not just I, this is just an opinion. It's not a fact. So you were probably thinking, oh my God, here's another one, something of that nature. My lab says Judge Rata is living in the theory he learned at school. The issue of police brutality has been spoken about for a long time. He can still be thinking it's automatic that the police followed. It is clear by now that everyone handling this case was paid to protect the perpetrator. It makes sense why Chico was called first. Yep, definitely. I agree with you there. Ennings says, Clancy, why are you not talking about Zungu? Umshiaganjanu Zungu. No, when I say all of them, I included him as well. I'm, I forgot all the names. So I'm like, everybody that is involved. Everybody. And then I know this face. I know this face. It's just that the name. Okay, it's just a user. Of, I apologize so much for that. In terms of the OBs, I believe the investigation team could have easily told the police in duty to write that the, uh, that, that the accused is returned without any injuries and they signed. Probably, yeah. But that's what I wanted to see as well, that indeed it was the police officers, it was not Muhanu, you know? But yeah, you, you could be right because they are seniors, remember? And the police station, in these police stations... Pretty much, they seem to fear the seniors. So it's possible. It's possible. Lindy was says, for me, the fact that Danzi's confession was done without legal present, uh, representation automatically makes it inadmissible. I agree. I don't see how Mjiako is going to convince the court that he legally represented Danzi. 100% correct. Tiamo says your uh, Tiamo says your heads of argument, aka closing, is greater, bro. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Oko says the defense slept on duty on many instances and it may cost them this case. I don't think it's going to cost them the case because let's, let's think about Njiako alone. The whole issue of Njiako alone kills the state's case. Now, what also kills the state, what they brought on the table is the tag to the dreadlocks, the goal tools, the hard conditions, etc. and so on. So I don't think the case is jeopardized in any way. However, though, I do agree that many occasions uh, the defense may have uh, taken an opportunity to object to some of the things that, that Sibanda was questioning Ndanzi and Sibia. And I felt like, whoa, bros, why, why are you sitting? Come on, object to this. And they did not do it. Maybe they thought we'll argue that in the in the hands of argument. I don't know. Gladness says, Eshku Raf, only the most high can rescue us for real. For real. But again, let's not always put things in the hands of the most high. We are as powerful because we were given that will and that power but the most high to use our brains and after using our brains we use our hands right so let's not always leave it there we must also take action as people we are going to an election this year i rest my case tabiso says the defense scored an own goal in those ob's yeah i would say that as well but it's not detrimental it's not detrimental I hope they rescue that issue in their arguments. I hope so too. I, I think they will because just Mjiako alone, the whole issue of Mjiako killed the state's case. Let's also not forget about the rights. Section 35 of the rights, uh, search warrants of the ammunition, etc. and so on. Uh, the gold tooth, all that stuff that we heard. The state has no chance. Umbo says Rata wanted to give Baloy a second bite through Mnisi reopening the case. I think there are things as well he realized that oh, the state should have said this. Because remember, he opted to start keeping quiet and saying nothing. And there's a lot of stuff that Danzi did and said that actually murdered the state's case. And so I think you are absolutely right that when he said in law I can reopen and then the, both the states Instead of saying the defense can argue this uh, particular, but he says both the state and the defense can argue. And of course, that means whatever that the state already heard from Danzi, it gives them an opportunity to try and discredit it. I agree with you on this one, 100%. Lakim Gomezulu didn't take that bait. Okay, now that you said what you said, I am seeing it. Actually, I am saying it. Mm. You see why I like people with two IQs? This is exactly what I like, Jablani. This is what I like. Don't go take other people's comments and make them your own, but you do not know how to expand from there. That's called stupidity. Tidi Anna says, I had hoped that there will be some family members to testify. Uh, well, this is a trial within a trial, I suppose, right? Uh, let's see. Let's see in the main trial. Let's see in the main trial what happens. I am hoping that Rata will favor these guys and we start 375. I hope 375 is done on its own without being involved in this one because this one would have had an acquittal and it will be over. So yeah, 375, yeah, they can do their own thing outside of this one. I love Nisi. I was busy there saying they should reopen the case, but the thought of listening to Kininda one, <laughs> one more time would be torture. <laughs> and then we have Samantha once again. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> and me, you know me, my spirit does not click with his, right? So, no, you are right. <laughs> Murupig says, Aish, you said not everybody is as strong as Ndanzi and Sibia. Crying emoji. Uh, I didn't mean that in a negative way. I, it was more like they are healthy. That's what the, their bodies could withstand the torture. Let's say somebody who does have a heart condition 
and then you come and you uh, electrocute them. Remember, the heart is also operating on its own electricity. And now when you come with an artificial one and add on to that, they're gone. And then what are the police going to say? They're going to lie and say, this person was put in a cell and the inmates uh, did this to them. And they take no accountability. That is what I meant. Because we all come in different forms, shapes, and sizes. So... Ntanzi and CBC, I don't know, maybe because of their youthfulness, that is why their bodies were able to withstand that. That is, if you took this in a negative way, now I'm explaining that, no, 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 this is what I mean. Kalani says, so it is possible for Mjiako to be called in the main... I think he's going to be called in the main trial, definitely. I think he should be called in the main trial. Mzi says, Baloy says both parties should submit heads at the same time. I was like, that's slicky. If this statement came from the defense, Rada would have demonized them. What law is that? He would have said, indeed. I can actually hear him asking them that. What procedure is that? What case law is that? But with Baloy was just nice. Indeed, this judge is Ishi. <laughs> Katlako says, I feel sorry for Ntanzi Shem. It was terrible. Humanity kicks in immediately when you see things like this, eh? Matebula says, well articulated Clancy's D. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Good sir. Charlotte says, I see a good leg. Please. Yeah, that one I'm definitely bringing it on this channel. We'll be following it because it's gone very far, actually. I think it's, it may be towards the end, but still, we, I, I think it has maybe two, three more weeks before it wraps up. But we'll see. We'll see. Definitely. Uh, Mpo says that the judge was talking about police incompetence in the beginning of the trial, making jokes about them. I remember that. I remember that. Iconic says, you are doing a great job, babe. Thank you so very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> For a second, I thought I lost you there. <laughs> I don't want to lose my people. I love you all too much. <laughs> uh, Mona says, I think it's just a waste of time because the bottom line, this working father of three did not have a legal lawyer when he was making a confession, finishing Clar. Yeah. A person that never even came to consult with you. They don't even know whether you're right to the left or a right. Come on. Nelly Dube says, thank you for explaining the heads of argument to our clients' love. Thank you. Thank you. I was getting asked that as well. I was like, okay, let me look it up and, and try and simplify it as, I, I, as much as I can. Dumi says, the clan does Judge Rata ever give the defense a chance to finish a sentence and he still says he is a fair judge. I don't think he ever will. He definitely has some cheese to grind with uh, somebody says I don't know. <laughs> Dear God, who did we offend to deserve all this broken heart, broken heart? Hey, only Jehovah. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Blanche says, Atlantis and the clan, good evening. Good evening to you. Thank you for the clear analysis. Besides uh, the fact that I expected your clear narrative, I'm happy I became the member of the clan. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Love you, Blanche. Uh, well done, Kaya. Thank you so much, Kaya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um... Ronnie says, even if they gave them the names of the officers who signed the OBs, the state will say they have died. Hey, that is why Rata wanted to know if they're still alive. <laughs> I was like, why are you asking that? It was just four years ago. Actually, three years ago. <laughs> I could stop laughing when he asked about that question. I'm like, what? But then again, we are dealing, you know, with who, right? <laughs> so funny. Thank you so much for reminding me, Rani. <laughs> oh, wow. Our South Africa. 
Thank you, Web Shopper says, wow, fire. Thank you very much for your juicy update, bro. God bless Umenje. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mulimbe says, those books can be manipulated and I don't think they will have any weight as much. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it later, I was like, nah, nah. Just the state of Mjiako alone. The state of Mjiako alone. His status with Ndanzi. Just that alone. It amounts to hearsay evidence as the authors were not called to the stand. I agree. I agree. All they have to do is to highlight the discrepancies in terms of procedure. Yeah, you're on fire on this one. They may not be able to prove the assault and torture, but the scars of uh, on both accused number one and two on their wrists says it all. You can drop the mic, bro. Drop the mic on this one. Yep, definitely. Proudly South African says that thank you. You said it. You said a mouthful. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Sylvia says, uh, thank you, Clantus, for your excellent clarity. His blessings. Thank you, love, and always. Thank you so much, Sylvia. Much love to you too from me. Pasha says, Mnisi didn't want to reopen the case. He wanted State to call those police who wrote the OBs. And Mnisi exposed Baloi once again. Yo, I saw Baloi was a little bit worried about this reopening uh, situation. But Rata, I think he was going to call him in chambers and say, listen, you need to argue these points and these points and this point. I'm just thinking. I'm not saying he was going to do it. Uh, Liani says, I think defense is tired and want to get this over and done with. As long as they're not failing the accused, we all do. We all do. I'm sure if the accused themselves, they've had enough. You know? Yeah, definitely you're right, uh, Liani. Uh, then we have Musisiwe who says, thank you to Magute for your analysis. Thank you so much for watching. Baloyi thought ambush and hogwash for getting the honest is on the stage to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that two accused confess voluntarily in committing murder of Meiwa. Then the defense to argue due to ABC confession was not voluntary. I hope the defense must bring previous cases involving Gininda of 2013 where it was dismissed by the court. Remember, character prosecution, or is it character prosecution? Is not allowed in a trial within a trial. But I think in the main trial, we can bring that in to discredit the, uh, the witness that once upon a time, a high court found this on this matter, which is exactly why we are where we at. That is if Rada admits those confessions into evidence. Because they need to interrogate. Look at the person that uh, conducted this so-called investigation. This is what the court found on them and all of that stuff. Yvonne says, yes, we have already voted. Just check and give us results. Oh, you mean the... What do we do the next two weeks? Yeah, I did see the results. I did see the results. So I'm going to read the six more and we close it here, guys. There's a lot of comments that came through. Myra says, I am also disappointed by defense having missed that opportunity. So the defense doesn't pay attention to this jury while Rata does. Let's hope Ngomezulu's suggestions will work. I think it will work. It, it definitely will work. Um, yeah, but myself as well, I was a little bit emotional about what Nisi stood up and did. But then later on, when you thought about it, I was like, no, the state's case is not even shaken. It is dead. They did not prove beyond reasonable doubt that those confessions ought to be admitted into evidence. That makes me happy. Liani says, thanks, Clancy, for your explanation regarding the way forward. We need to pray without seizing for justice. Thank you so much for that, Liani. Ntlanta says, what's up, Bezo? Nice analysis of uh, the end possible outcome. Hopefully, it's going to be... I don't know, let me just say hopefully. It's definitely going to be in favor of Ndanzi and CBC. 
Shadid says, uh, thank, okay, Shadid says, uh, you are making me Terry clan leader. Oh, I'm sorry. With your analysis, uh, thank you and well done. Uh, thank you so much. It did sound like I was doing closing arguments, didn't it? Although when I was listening to it, I was like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> no, I was speaking from my heart. Honestly speaking, I was speaking from my heart because what Ntanzi and CBC have been subjected to, I cannot imagine how any of us will be able to handle that. Honestly speaking, I, let me speak for myself. I don't know how I would have handled it. Honestly speaking, I would have said, listen, I know I did not do this, but screw it. Someday the truth will come. And someday these people that did what they did to me, justice will find them. <laughs> Honestly speaking. Uh, Collega says, Baloy was there in court with those uh, court proceedings. Fontanze, remember? Yeah, from the regional court in Boxburg, I think. When Danzi even stood up and cried about being beaten. And uh, clearly, Baloy sat on his ear on that particular appearance. Gapsina says, an excellent video. This is a CD. Thank you so much. You are spot on regarding uh, legalities related to the proceedings. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I, I heard somebody wanting to sponsor me going to law school. They said they're going to pay every fee for the next four years while I'm there. And I'm like, hmm, which law school would I want to go to between Stellenbosch, UCT, and Wits University? <laughs> Thank you guys for the confidence you have in me. I appreciate it. <laughs> the last two is from Loco. I love that. I love your name, Loco. Hmm. I felt that, bro, it's painful in a way that Bongani is my son. How can human beings treat another, another one like that? It's beyond me. It's beyond me, honestly speaking. Gininda, Jonathan, and your crew from EMPD, fake SWAT. <laughs> I asked who trained them. Do they even know what SWAT is all about? Uh, Mukhala, Mukhano, Mabena. Hi, Mabena. Is not arrested. <laughs> I don't think so either. It, you cannot be resting in peace. When you have done the crap you did to other human beings. Because I don't think Danzi is the only person. There are other people. How on earth would you, have, would you be resting in peace? Honestly speaking, I do not believe that. That devil, he must... <laughs> he must and wait for his peers. For his peers, they are coming. I mean, I want them, while they are still here, go through hell. Whichever way Mother Nature is going to serve that hell to them. I hope it's nice and cold. Niti says, and Danzi's life will never be the same. Even if he walks away a free man. Definitely, I agree with that. He will be traumatized. He will be always fearful. Every time he sees police vehicles, he is going to have flashbacks. This guy after here, he definitely needs to seek help. Even though you might seek help, uh, professional help. These things like uh, post-traumatic stress disorder will definitely kick in. There's a lot that he's facing after this. In the meantime, I will remain optimistic. Yeah, I think we all have to do that. But, uh, but leave a room for disappointment. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. I, I definitely agree with that. Okay, then we go to Nombuzo who says, Baloi, I like to ambush defense if um, Shoza did not stand up. He wanted to submit with defense and nonsense, Baloy. Yeah, he was being slicky as usual. Let's read the last one from Tembekile, who says, Thank you for your analysis. And let's hope truth will prevail. Always does. Thank you so much for that. As for, a poli as for police, Zimbabwe police are better than South Africa's. I'm afraid we are not safe. We are not. This demonstrates how unsafe we are all are for defense they must go back and do inspection in loco in all those ob's that is a visit all police stations and check other cases mentioned by gininda on danzi also get more info on shokwe 
medical report of Ndanzi in the mines, definitely. Wish them good luck and God may he protect them. I couldn't have said it any better than you already have. This is a good close of the video. Thank you so much to every one of you who submitted your comments. As you guys know, we can't go through all the comments, right? Because that will take hours and hours of a video and I still have to edit. I appreciate you guys so much. If you like the video, give it a like. If you didn't like the video, give it a like. Anyways, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much to everybody that's super thanking the channel and supporting it financially. I highly appreciate you guys so very much. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what do you think is going to be the outcome of the trial within a trial. Is Rata going to do the right thing or Rata is just going to be like Gininda and them? We'll see. So please do share this video far and wide and I'll see you next time with a new video. Goodbye.